Hey guys, this is Jake Heaps here. Excited to get back with you guys after our week three win versus the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm excited to talk to you guys about this unique situation that happened through the game. It's a chess match that's always happening between defensive coordinators, offenses, the quarterback, and the offensive line. To me, this was a critical situation and one that the Seahawks won. Russell Wilson, that offensive line won, and it got Dallas in bad positions. And, and uh, you know, I was excited to show you guys this chess match that went on in the game. So we're going to go to the tape. We're going to look at these little uh, screenshots that we have here and dive into the X's and O's of this thing. So as we go through this, you're going to see that the defensive look, they're, what they're doing is they're, every game, defensive coordinators are trying to come up with blitzes, pressures that is going to hit home or that's going to confuse the quarterback and the offensive line. And in this particular game, Chris Richard and the Dallas Cowboys came to the line of scrimmage with this double mug a gap pressure look. Okay, and you have these two guys here that are lined up in the a gaps and what they're trying to do is they're trying to disguise pressure. Well, what they're really doing here is they're playing man to man across the board here. Okay, and as they do this, they are going to give a big tail to Russell Wilson. They are either going to be playing cover zero here with this safety playing Tyler Lockett, which is unlikely, or they're simply going to drop out of this thing and they're going to play in zone coverage. And so Russell has to make uh, a judgment call here in terms of whether he thinks this is blitz or if this is zone. And by the demeanor of these linebackers, they're showing that it's going to be zone. And what he does post snap is the thing that really gets him here. And again, I want to show that this has come up on third down uh, in a critical third down situation. They're driving down the field um, and Russell makes him pay. So if we go to the post snap, now you see here that we've got a concept where Tyler Lockett's going down the seam. We've got a rub dig here and we've got a, a, a slant route basically that's coming and this is great versus zone and man. And then you've got here uh, Nick Vanette that's running a seam route and you've got the running back running a swing. What they're able to do here is you see Sean Lee here, the linebacker, Sean Lee for the Dallas Cowboys, his back is to this backside. So what you end up having here is a two on two matchup, basically man to man. And what Russell sees is a clear mismatch with Nick Vanette versus a cornerback. And what he's able to do is Nick Vanette gets into this window, Russell hits him for a nice looking sweet third down conversion, and here you go. The next play I want to show you, the next situation, is again on third down, crucial. It's the same look again. Mike's are, the linebackers are in that double A gap look pressure. As you can see here, there's a bit of a difference in terms of the demeanor. And again, they're going man to man. Now, Russell has to determine here who is his hot throw going to be. In this play, they have post, wheel, under, another post, and they have a flat route. So Russell has two opportunities to hit hot. Now, typically what's going to happen here is, is because this safety here is off and soft, the likely decision for him is going to be to hit Will Disley on this under because you simply just don't know who is going to be covering this running back. But Russell does a great job paying attention post snap. And while his eyes are downfield, he notices that no one here, there's a big bust in coverage, no one picks up Chris Carson. And that's a big issue for the Dallas Cowboys. Russell is initially looking at Will Disley here, but out of the corner of his eye, he pays attention. And simply what happened here is the, the Dallas Cowboys defensive end did not peel with Chris Carson. Great awareness by Russell to hit Chris Carson wide open the flat. Big gain on third down. And again, the reason why this is so crucial is because if this would have been successful for the Cowboys, they would have continued to do this throughout the game and would have added more unique pressure looks to this, which would have caused more confusion. Because Russell and this offense was able to capitalize in these situations and turn these into successful plays, it got Dallas to get away from these pressure looks, and ultimately they didn't do this for the rest of the game. This is a big key because looking forward into next week against the Arizona Cardinals, 
Arizona loves to bring exotic pressure looks and unique looks at the line of scrimmage. And if Russell and the offensive line and offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer can continue to capitalize on these situations, it's going to be a great night for the Seahawks. So thanks again for tuning in. Excited to see you next week.